good Sunday morning. A couple of you uh, viewers um, had asked if we got any snow. Yes, we did. We, I estimated about 11, 12 inches, although uh, the next town over said they, according to the news, only got eight. Well, I'll tell you, it's the hardest eight I've ever shoveled. It's heart attack snow, in spite of the fact that the weather guesses were saying it was going to be fluffy snow. It was semi-fluffy and very, very heavy. Um, I had about that much. I'm estimating no, at least 11 inches. I could not shovel this deck. Uh, when I shoveled it, it was heavy. I couldn't take and slide it off. So I took the snowblower, and I've done this before, go up the ramp here and go around and use the snowblower, which naturally I'm blowing it back on the walkways again. So after I got some of this done with the snowblower, then I came around and I did the rest of the deck, and then I come around and I take the shovel like this, and you can't even push it. it. It wasn't like frozen on the ground. It was just heavy, very thick and heavy. So, hold it like that. Until it gets so high over there in that area, it goes above the deck flooring. Then I can't do anything more with it. It killed me to do this. Um, if I didn't have a snowblower, we would still be snowed in. I would not be able to get out of the driveway. Okay, let me show you. Okay, the snowblower does not get down all the way to the ground. It never did. Uh, simply because it's got the wheels on the front because when it gets to the ground and the ground is not frozen, it digs up what little grass we got. It digs up gravel and stuff that we have. So it ruins and gets into the auger. So that's why I have the wheels on the front of the snowblower that I put on a few years ago. And there's a reason for that. Okay. So you got about an inch or an inch and a half of snow all the time here. And you never get it scraped down. Okay. Uh, it don't look like much now. But when I started snowblowing, this has drifted up because of the snowblower. This settled down, even though it never really got above freezing, but the snow settles down anyway. So if you look at places like this, you'd say, geez, he only got about six, seven inches. But that's not the case. The, what was it? Um, today is uh, Sunday, Saturday, what was it, Friday morning? Thursday, I think we got Thursday, the snow. I don't know. I'm getting my days mixed up. But the point is, <laughs> the next morning I come out, I got that much snow I'm going through here. So, as you can see, <laughs> if I, you can't get down even with the snow, even with the snow shovel. It's just back breaking. It's hard. It's frozen. Okay. So a more accurate amount of snow would be on that little table there. That's probably about 10, 11 inches right there. What's on top of the, the grill over there? That's about a foot, 12, 13 inches. Okay, it does get higher on those places than what it's on the ground. So when you average it out, I would say we got about 11 inches. Okay, we're not going to nitpick. <laughs> all right. Uh, Dan Kublu Lights up in, uh, near, up, up in New York State got uh, a huge amount of uh, snow, uh, 30 inches at least. Uh, I would probably be dead out here trying to clean that up. Uh, thank goodness for snowblowers, I said. Um, snowblower, when it's in drive, when it's going through a big drift, starts making a, a noise in the friction wheel, and I hope I'm not going to have trouble with that. Every once in a while, I go like that. You know, I don't know. It wasn't the auger. It's when you get it in drive, and I keep it in low and going through. Every once in a while, it does that. 
don't need any problems with that. Because if that goes on me, I can't shovel it. It's just too much for me. All right, let's take a walk down here. You guys wanted the video. Some of you are asking if the old goat is making videos and it's still around. The old goat is still around. Yep. Uh, how much longer, I don't know. Uh, it don't look like there's that much, as I said. But, you know, I ran the snow blower down here. Um, it took two days to clean the deck off completely. The first day I only did it where you can just get out the door. And then yesterday I cleaned it off. And we'll swing around over here. Okay, I took the snow rake. I could only reach up there about a foot, foot and a half in. That's all I can do, okay? For some reason, I don't know why, on this side of the house, we get twice the snow as the trailer next door on the same side of the house. I think this is the south, southern part. I really don't know what's southeast or west. To tell you the truth, I don't know. Um, we get double the snow. I mean, it's it's like, it, I'm not exaggerating, it was that much on the roof, okay? So I figured I'd pull it off. I was getting ice dams, there's no more gutters, just a little bit of gutter over there uh, that I put on years ago, a 10-foot section there, um, or eight, or whatever it is, uh, because we used to get water coming in. But we got uh, had ice dams all the way around icicles all the way around an ice dam. So when I'm pulling the snow rake, I got an ice dam about that much. So it forces me to lift that snow rake on that long handle. And it's just killing me to do it. So that's the best I can do. There's no way I can clean that roof off any more than just the first foot in. If you look over there, you can see the bathroom vent right there uh, is showing. Okay, so that's working. Uh, when we get a lot of snow like we did, that's usually totally covered and we don't get anything. So, I got my boots on and I'm going over here. And you can see the vent up there probably a little better. Yeah. Uh, it was completely hidden until I scraped it down. So I got my snow rake. I don't have my boots on today. I have my heavy shoes on. And I'm pulling and pulling, and it's all ice dam right all along the edge. There's nothing you can do about it. That's just the way it is, you know? So every year it's the same thing. I have to say, I have never had such a hard time shoveling this year in all the years I've lived here. And we've had that blizzards. It's a 2015 video that you saw when I was able to use... Um, the, um, can't remember that video editing program that I used to use. Tommy would remember probably. I won't. My mind is a sieve anyways. Uh, when it was working, I did a snowblower video with the camera on it in 2015. Uh, that was a bad storm too, but this one seems to be even worse. So what I do is after I shovel this off, then I take the snow rake with the long handle and at the beginning of the deck, where it's piled up over the floor from shoveling this way, I'm taking the snow rake and I'm pulling it. It's a lot easier to do that than shovel. So I'm pulling it away so that I have room to get more snow off, because I try to push it off the deck. And I just run down the snow blower down here, but you can see, even the road that's in here, when the park owner plows, it never gets down to the pavement because it's this type of snow, everything was brutally cold, and there's always a certain amount of snow on the road. So it's not just my wheels on the snowblower that's causing that. So as you can see here, when you swing around, and look at the tractor shed, here, all right, that's the average snow we get on our roof. And there's not too much here, okay? It's not bad. It's only about like maybe three, four inches of snow on the shed roof, okay? But if you swing around here on the house, you can see how much higher it is. And I can take you to the other side after. It's not as high. 
So this is the side of the house that gets the sun in the afternoon. In other words, after around 12 o'clock in the afternoon, we, the sun comes around and it's usually on this side. So the other side, I think, is the north side. I really don't know. Don't sound too good, does it? <laughs> So, that's a big icicle. Getting on the back side of our trail, okay? So, that's a big icicle. No flavor. All right, so, I have not been in this shop in two days. When we knew that big storm was coming, I wasn't even thinking of making a video. I wasn't in the mood to make a video because I saw all the snow we had and I knew I had an SOB job to clean it up. And it's getting harder and harder and harder for me to work and do it. Look at the dead branches that we accumulated since this. All right? <laughs> I know, Dan, this is nothing compared to what you guys had. I do not envy you. Uh, damn good thing you got a good snow blower. Uh, to do the job, but uh, you know, snow is for kids. It's not for old farts like me. It's for kids. Uh, so, let's move on. Now, yesterday, the day after the, the first cleanup, because it took two days for me to clean this up the way I wanted it, and I still got, oh, maybe in today, tomorrow, probably in probably in a couple of days and before Christmas, I gotta shovel all this out. I'm not gonna dig out the snow blower just to do this. It's packed in, the snow blower probably will not pick it up. But if the temperatures rise, it's supposed to be a little bit milder, above freezing in a couple days, maybe by Sunday or Monday. Uh, today's Sunday, uh, today is Sunday. <laughs> maybe by Monday or Tuesday, I should say. I can clean this up because there's no way I can work on there, and I don't work up doing any outside projects. The snow was about 15 inches on top of this, and I could not push it off. I had to take the snow shovel, I had my boots on so I was able to step right in here, and kill myself. The, the, the thing must have weighed 20 pounds on the shovel to, to get it off. And it felt like I was going to break the plastic snow shovel trying to push it off. Finally got it all cleaned off. The recycle bin's got to go out later today for t Monday morning pickup. All right, let's go down here. Okay, this was the last thing I tried cleaning off. This is always an SOB to clean off because it's so high up. And uh, my step ladders are buried under the porch, and I can't get at them. And it's too dangerous anyways in the snow. Uh, yes, I could use the aluminum snow rake, but I would scratch up the van big time, and I'm not about to do that. So I have a little uh, foam thing, orange foam snow rake, they call it, for cleaning off the top of cars and windshields that are made for that, that don't scratch. So I was able to pull down enough stuff, but then there it is down there, and guess what? Back breaking work, shoveling it up. It is very hard. Now if you swing around here, you can see all the snow on the top of the roof. A lot of it has settled down a little bit. Uh, I didn't even attempt to clean that off. If you will look up here there, on the roof, you don't see too, too much snow up there. Okay, we can live with that. The bathroom vent in this bathroom here, which is not used all that much, is totally covered. So when you put the exhaust fan on, it's not doing anything. So you can see I went through here. Now I'll take you back over here. Okay, so I did both sides, but then I had to come down here and I had to shovel it all out. So. It took me hours to clean this place up. Um, I couldn't do it in all one day. It was just so damn cold. 
you know. I just can't work in this cold. It's no, cold outside today. <laughs> yeah, I got my heavy coat on. This is a lot heavier than the other one I used to wear. So, the main thing is, I got the car cleaned off. Um, I did all that. Uh, totally cleaned it off before it got dark around 4 or 4.15. It's just about dark. So I got it all cleaned off totally. I come back with the, the broom, the snow broom, and cleaned off because it was light snow, which was which never stopped. It just kept coming and coming. So I couldn't keep up with it. And it was putting a coating on everything. So finally got it out. I got out yesterday, which was Sunday. Uh, I got out actually Saturday afternoon after I got everything dug out. Um, so you can see everything's, this is the way it is. So what will happen is if this glazes over, it's going to take every bit of sand that I've got and I have to go out and buy some more sand. I have to buy 40 pound bags, I think they're 40 or 60. I can just barely lift them. I used to be able to lift 80 pound sand and swing it around when I worked at the nursery back in the early 60s. There was no problem for me to do that. I can't do that now. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. So I have to cover sand uh, on this here. So when Tommy goes out to work, if this gets bad, I make a walkway with sand. And I tell him, walk the walkway here. But right now, it's not the problem. You can see the top of the van. So I got as much off as I can. And the only way I'm going to get all that off is stepladder, which I'm not going to do, or a snow rake. Aluminum snow rake that I use on the roof. I'm not doing that and scratch the van all up and we're gonna rust up and then they'll have holes in the roof in a few years. So we'll just let it melt. Now, if it warms up to around 40 degrees, this will be soft enough that I might be able to push it off with the big push broom I got in the shed. All right, swing over to the house, Tom. You can see there isn't that too much snow there on this side of the roof. But the other side seems to have a higher amount of snow. Okay, so that's it. I can't, the ice dams are up there. There's nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do. I tried getting it off. And you try to lift a snow rake. I already put it away with uh, two and three extensions on it. You've got to lift it up because when you pull it, you come against this ice dam and you can't go anymore. Uh, so I got to lift it over the ice dam and I'm, it's killing me. It's knocking me out. <laughs> so, get to a point where I just say, to hell with it. Leave the snow up there. That's all. Let Mother Nature melt it on its own. So, where's your basketball, Tom? It's under there, isn't it? Yep. Well, I can't <laughs> think of everything. Uh, the push mower is, is down on the picnic table, the vibrating mower, which I use for leaves, which I was going to get rid of. Uh, I folded the handle down and, and uh, you know, last month I closed it down and uh, it's not going to hurt anything. Basketball's in the snow. Basketball's buried in the snow. So it's going to take a long time to get back to normal. And needless to say, it's been too cold. I'm not going to run the Mr. Heater in the shop. There's nothing important. I don't have any important projects. I don't have any extra money to be buying things. Um, I've been buying gas and stuff. We got the generator. We did not lose power. Um, I topped off the generator right to the top, so there's no condensation that's going to get in there. And it's been proven that uh, keeping the gas, a metal gas tank full in the generator is the only way and the best way. Unless you're going to, uh, unless you're keeping it in a garage, in a house or a garage or something. And you're not using it all that often. But around here we do lose power a lot. We've been very lucky. We did not lose power this time around either. Uh, you get any substantial winds and we usually do lose power. So I ran the generator I ran it did for about 15 minutes before the storm, a couple days before the storm actually, topped it off, filled the snow blower, started that, got that ready, and, um, and that's it. So uh, 
it run good, and we were all ready for the worst. Had we lost power when the snow was coming down, it was snowing about 6.30. Uh, I can't remember what day the storm started. Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. All right. So around 8, 9 o'clock, it was so, it was, snow was coming down so much, there had to be at least uh, four or five inches on the ground. So heavy that I said, if we lose power now, I'm going to have an SOB time coming out there with the snow blowing and everything else to get at the generator to start it up. So I was hoping we didn't lose power. Come bedtime, I go to bed about quarter to 11 at night without fail. I do not stay up past that time. Computer gets shut down at 1030. And uh, he said, well, if we lose power, I thought we're going to just have to wait until the next morning. It took me an hour to get out here to dig my way out to that. Because in order to get to the snowblower, I have to dig my way manually with the snow shovel. As it is, it almost went over my boots. So that's why I say we got 11 inches. Doesn't look it now. So I managed to walk through without breaking my back and killing myself, shoveling out to get to the snowblower. One more thing before we go. All right, folks, we're gonna end this video. Um, what I do is, last week I got the snowblower ready to go. The new lawnmower is in the back with the handle half folded up so I can get it out to the back. No gas in it. Gas this up. Started it up, make sure it's running good. And pump the tire. There's always one tire, it's this one that needs gas, uh, needs to be pumped up, but it's, it's still got air in it. And I spray WD-40 on the inside of this before and after use. And these are my gloves for the snow rake. It's uh, aluminum, you know, makes your hands all black. Plus, it's very cold. So your hands are black from the aluminum. <laughs> like a uh, coating or something they got on it or whatever. So, I gotta bring these in and they're still damp. So, I started in here, then I come out. Naturally, the ramp has to be cleaned off so I don't slide down the damn thing. <laughs> come down there with the auger going, I hit the end and I go straight out. Then I gotta uh, uh, go back and forth a little bit so I can turn the snowblower around. And then when I turn it around, the first thing I do is I come around this way and then I go right over here, over there, over here, over there. <laughs> Anyways, I come around here and go around the corner and go on the left side of the driveway and go all the way down the driveway. I have to do all the driveway. The park owner don't plow the driveway at all. Mainly because we got our vehicles there, so we'd get plowed in. You know, so he really can't do the driveway. So if it wasn't, wasn't for the snowblower, I wouldn't be getting the car out. Or I'd have to shovel it all out by hand, just enough to get the car out. So I, that's what I do. Then I come, I do a little bit, then I come up here and I make another pass here and come around. I make a pass in front of the gen house so I can get at the gen house. Then I come back around and then I come down near the deck. Uh, and go down and all the way down to where we put our recycle bins on the road out there. So that's the story. A better look at the house. You can see we got the vent exposed on the left side there. All right. We don't have any icicles anymore because I pulled that all down. So uh, that's the best it can do. Mother Nature's going to uh, melt it. All right, folks. I think we chatted long enough. Tommy's going to be editing this video. Yep. And we'll decide what to call it. We're not sure yet. We'll come up with a name. So, um, nothing much exciting, folks. Um, 
winter is a very depressing time. This whole year has been a very, very bad, depressing year, uh, all the way through. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know you probably would have loved to have seen snow blowing videos, but when I am working and I got a monstrous job ahead of me, I, uh, the last thing I want to do is to video it. Um, I just want to get the job done. I hate doing this, and that's the story. Now you know the rest of the story. Good day.